This is Wave 105, it's Andy Jackson here on the evening show. Monday nights is foodie night, we've got a cookery corner for that. I'm just counting the number of people we've got here. Including me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. <laughs> isn't it funny, isn't it amazing how when there's food involved, we find a reason to come back into work late at night, but there we go. Uh, just a reminder, we've got uh, Chris here, who has paid good money for Wave 105's Cash for Kids to come in and sit in on the show. Speaking of which, by the way, next week we're going to be cooking an entire Christmas dinner. More on that later, but if you'd like to, if you'd like to bid for that, uh, just Chris, as you're here actually, because you're here and it's just a bit of uh, you, you, just by coincidence, you've happened to come in on a foodie night. Just by coincidence. How are you finding the experience this evening? It's excellent, actually. So you're enjoying it, this evening? Very much so. A little bit of tasty uh, food tasting going on as well. So if you'd like to come here and have a Christmas dinner for two cooked, sitting at our very own chef's table here at Wave 105, head over to the website wave105.com slash Andy. And uh, we're going to have a whole host of celebrity, say celebrity chefs, of notable uh, local chefs and local producers. We're going to be cooking an entire Christmas dinner here for you. We're going to be doing turkey um, and all the trimmings, plus loads more. You can find more details at wave105.com slash Andy. But tonight, just a normal night, isn't it? Just a normal night uh, on the menu, pheasant breast with brandy, apples and cream. And I think it's time to taste now. It's almost my favourite part. Thank you very much. And I've got a fork here. I've got a fork here. So first of all, cooked apples. And I'm not a fan of cooked apples normally. So we'll see how these go. Now they taste still like apples. Normally when you have cooked apples, they go all, they sort of sour, don't they, they, they do, mm. That's what I was saying to you, you know, about just getting that key point where they're not going to turn into fluff. Into mush, yeah. Into mush, but they're just going to hold their shape. And that's the good thing about a coxes or dessert apple. So, okay, yeah. so I'm obviously saving the best for last. There's the apple. So this is the... Um, the cabbage that's not cabbage. What cabbage is this, Ian? Cavalonero. Cavalonero cabbage. I've had some raw, now I've had some cooked. And guess what? It still tastes like cabbage. <laughs> okay, and now the time of pheasant. And I'm quite surprised at this pheasant because it started off a sort of, be did we say a beigey colour? Yeah, it's quite a dark beige, but it's not a liver colour, was it? So I thought it was sort of livery coloured. Mm -hmm. But now it's got to me the appearance of chicken. Yes, it's, it's um, gone lighter. lighter. Why has it gone lighter? Well, well that's because of the um, cooking that we've done. It just turns it just slightly a little bit lighter, um, lighter in colour. So, because no, normally if you cook a bit of beef, which I suppose is a similar sort of colour, it doesn't go light, does it? It goes brown. It goes brown. <laughs> but whereas this, this has turned it, but by the look of it, it started off looking beefy like, yes. and it's now miraculously turned into looking chicken like. Lighter. Would you agree and with that? Yes, and we've also, don't forget, added cream into the sauce, which so is... So that's gone in as well. Bit, yeah. And the brandy as well. Which yeah, is absolutely. Good. I mean, it's, it's got a very woman's ease, aren't you, Gray? <laughs> well, it's probably looking a bit more pork-like than chicken. Yes. Mm. It's, it's yes. still got a meaty texture mm. rather than, a, than a, a lighter chicken. Now, you said, excuse me, that uh, it's quite a gamey taste. That doesn't taste very, very gamey to me. Not as rich as you're expecting, because I think you did venison last week, didn't you? So we did. You know, that's a real, true, deep, um, sort of gamey taste. But when you cook this off, and I think people, that's why people quite like a pheasant, because it does lose its slightly it's deep gaminess. Yeah. Gaminess, mm. gaminess. This is a terrible job. Venison last week, pheasant this week. I, oh, I hate coming to work sometimes. And, and of course, the longer you hang the pheasant, the richer it gets. So yes, that's the, the more sort of gamier yes, it gets. Yes. This is very. I was going to. I'm trying to describe the taste of it because it's not gamey like I thought it was going to be. It is sort of pork-like in texture, mm. isn't it? Yes. I would just des describe it as a cross between pork and chicken, without reverting back to the everything. Everything either tastes like beef or chicken, but sort of a, a mixture of pork and chicken. Not what I was expecting at all. Okay. So there we go. Interesting. If you want to see the uh, ingredients, by the way, in the menu and everything, it is all at wave105.com slash handy. If you're thinking, where can I get hold of some of this wonderful stuff from Hampshire, um, all the, uh, everything you need to know, there's links from our website at wave105.com. And what have we got coming up shortly? We have got Quick Kedgeree. Quick Kedgeree coming yes. up as our next, as our second course. So stay tuned for that. This is Wave 105 with Duran, Duran, and Hungry Like the Wolf on the way in a second. <laughs> 